joining us today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soraya. Well, it's that time of year when we talk about the Palos Verde Street Fair and Music Festival. And joining me now to talk all things street fair is the president and CEO of the Palos Verde Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, Miss Eileen Huff. Eileen, so excited, it's street fair time. I know, we couldn't be more excited. Uh, we have an incredible committee of chamber member volunteers who have been working on this for months. They are pulling out all the stops. This is the 34th annual street fair, the largest event on the peninsula. We are ready to kick off summer in style. How many years is this for you? You've been here this quite is, a few now. This is actually gonna be my 12th street fair. 12th yeah. street yeah. fair, I mean, wow. Well, yeah, I mean, we did modified events during the pandemic, as we, you we no. Yes. So, but this will be my 12th. Yeah. Amazing. I know. You know, mm -hmm. interesting you brought that up about the modified events mm -hmm. you were able to do during the pandemic, but this yes. one is just flat out street fair. Are we back? Yes, we are so Yay. back. Yes, absolutely. The, the carnival, the bands, everything. Yes. Very mm -hmm. good. You know what? Let's start. Where do you want to start? Do you want to start with the bands? Because I know oh, so yes. many people mm -hmm. missed mm -hmm. the music last year. Absolutely. Yes. yes. And I mean, it's all about music, right? It is. Yeah. Yes. And I just, one of the things, honestly, Maria, that I love about the street fair is the feeling of community that yes. you get when you're there. It's just Absolutely. you see friends and neighbors and you just, it's palpable. And yes. so what I love about the music part of it is just in front of that main stage when people of all ages, whether it's you know grandparents with their toddlers or teenagers, when people are dancing, yes, just so, so much, much fun. fun, so much fun. So Absolutely. we're so we're starting off both days, Saturday and Sunday, with the youth groups. Okay. So we have community groups like the Palos Verdes Performing Arts Conserva Conservatory, Encore Entertainers, Fusion Dance, Sing in Chinese, you name it. A lot of our wonderful groups are back performing again this year. And then in the mid afternoon, we bring on. The you know the the big bands you know everything from Pretzel Logic one of the favorites People Andy and Renee with Hard Rain uh, Running Hot which is a Rolling Stones tribute Sunday night we have Harold and his band the Blue Breeze Band which just does everything it is the best dance music ever Jimbo Ross and the Bodacious Band I don't think I've hit all of them the full schedule is <laughs> on our website though okay mm -hmm. well that mm -hmm. sounds great and then as far as the carnival goes same thing we're gonna have flat out big carnival like yes. we usually do. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. is the is the spacing the same? Because I know that you tend right. to take over most of that area, like right. Deep Valley and that area, so tell us. Yes, no, that is a great question. And we are so grateful to both Peninsula Shopping Center mm -hmm. and the Promenade on the Peninsula and the City of Rolling Hills Estates as well, who gives us the, um, the real estate to be able to do this event. So right. the carnival will be back in the lower lot of Peninsula Shopping Center, okay. um, in that area there where it's always been. And we are so appreciative to Peninsula Shopping Center for that because that is really the best space for the carnival. And then the Promenade of the Peninsula will be hosting uh, the food court and the stage over in that parking lot by Union Bank. And then the street vendors will be all in between. And then we have some other new areas I wanna tell you about. But the um, carnival, of course, the Ferris wheel, mm -hmm. and then all those rides that the teenagers can go on that I can no longer do, but I really enjoy watching them. Yeah, they have a blast. Um, and then, of course, the games of chance, which people love, because who doesn't want to win a giant stuffed animal, of right? Of course. Exactly. So the carnival will be there, and we start out with teen night for our local middle and high school students, and that's on Friday, okay. mm -hmm. June 10th, right after our public schools end. Um, our, I think some of the private schools are still in session, but kids just study early so you can come to teen exactly. night. Exactly. And that will be from 4 o'clock until 10 o'clock. And then Saturday and Sunday, all day, um, you know, from the carnival, we'll go from 10 to 10 on Saturday and 10 to 9 on Sunday. Um, yeah, and people, you can get advanced ride or advanced wristbands right. if you want online, and you save um, some money if you do that. Okay. So um, if not, you can buy your all-day ride wristband at the event. You can use the wristband on whatever day of your choosing. You don't have to pre-select it. And you can just go to our website and you can find that and, and buy it. And then they're also offering this year the ability to do kind of a fast pass. Oh. So if you want to get to the front of the line. Nice. You know, I have no idea. I'm fine standing in the line. It's great. But, um, <laughs> so but is it, it one like really wristband cool. a day? How does it work? Right. That's a great question. So it's one wristband for each day. Okay. So you could, so, but you don't have to decide in advance, I'm going on Saturday. Exactly. Saturday. So you buy the wristband mm -hmm. and then you can either use it 
from four to 10 for unlimited rides on teen night, or you can use it on Saturday all day or on Sunday, but it's for one of those three days. Okay, yeah. that sounds great. Now, vendors, we love shopping, Eileen. Mm -hmm. So yes. tell us about the oh my vendors. Gosh. So I've got to pull up this list there on my so phone There are so many here. vendors that Eileen has to look on her phone for the list. That's I know. fantastic. Exactly. That's great for us. I know, and Maria, <laughs> you know you and I love the shopping, right? We love oh my shopping. gosh. So yes. of course, fabulous jewelry, um, gems, dog collars, dog neck coolers. That's some kind of a new product this nice. year, but I guess it's to keep your dog cool, cool. when you're out on the trails, that is so right? That's smart. It's a very great idea. Um, of course, ceramics. Uh, we have some vintage prints. School of Rock, which is a new local business, um, is actually helping to sponsor the street fair, but they will be there with, you know, musical needs and classes and things like that. Um, fresh vegetable dealer, um, farm fresh, a toy distributor, um, some interesting um, African-made sandals. I mean, you name it, it's so exciting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then a lot of our local businesses, some of our realtors and things like that will be there as well. Now, you know, mm -hmm. because of the pandemic and some people d couldn't come, right. mm -hmm. do you see more of them returning now? And how does that sort of work? You know, that's really interesting because sadly, some of the smaller vendors have gone out of business in the last couple of years. Right. You know, we've worked very hard to reach out to everyone who's been at our street fair over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. We've emailed, we've called, we've sent text messages, we've had, you know, done a lot of outreach and a lot of them yeah, have just folded. Exactly. So which um, opens the door for new people. So exactly. That's great. Exactly. Yeah. And so we, re you know, very much encourage everybody to come out and support these vendors because so many of them are just small businesses. They're home-based businesses, mm -hmm. and so um, it's really, really important that as the Chamber of Commerce and the community, we support these small vendors. And you know, really mm -hmm. unique things that you're not going to find in a mall or anywhere else. So exactly. That's yeah. what makes the street fair so fun. Right. Plus, of it's just fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. It's just you know things you never knew you needed. You just have to have. Absolutely, 100%. Now, food, everybody loves to yes. eat and drink and be merry at the street fair. Exactly. So what do we have this year? And we year? have to decide what we're going to have for our special dessert, right? Okay. We do. We do. As long so. as we have two things. Yes. There's just two things I need at the street fair. Okay. Funnel cake mm -hmm. and, of course, the kettle corn. Okay, well, I'm so happy to tell you, Maria, Please? you're hearing it first here. Yes. We have both. I love it. Funnel I'm cake. great. I'm yes. in. Yeah, I'm funnel in. cake and, yes, and the kettle corn. As well as we let's just start with the desserts. Okay? Let's do as that. As well as the soft serve ice cream. That's my personal oh, so favorite. Good. The um, the shaved ice, the deep fried Oreos. I mean, you name it, it goes on and on. Delicious. And then if you really want to have something before you have dessert, um, we have everything from, of course, the American deli, the hot dogs, the hamburgers, the French fries. Got to have those. Yes. Um, we will have classic Thai food. Greek food, which is mm. my personal favorite, um, hot sizzling grilled, you know, food like the Philly cheesesteaks and the sausages, um, and that's just to name a few. And so, are we yeah. doing? Are you doing food trucks this year, or so, just no, we're the doing booths. more the booths? Okay, we're great. doing more the booths. Um, the ice cream truck is a food truck, and I think yeah. we have one other food truck. But okay. what we found is that for this event, the booths are really kind of more interesting. I think so. Than the food trucks. Yes. Yeah, and exactly. I think people like it really when you have them in one area exactly. as well because yes. they can kind of case out what they want to get. So right, that exactly. Helps. And yeah. then that way they're all, you know, with the exception of like the shaved ice that's over by the carnival, mm -hmm. all the food is in one spot, which Absolutely. of course is right where the music is, the dancing, and of course the beer and wine for yes. those who might want the beer and wine. So we have all the tables and chairs. That's over by the Union Bank parking lot. Right. Um, with the, you know, with the promenade. And we're so grateful again to the promenade and Peninsula Absolutely. Shopping Center for this space. So that will all be in that one location. And yeah. you're talking about sponsors, mm -hmm. because I know that's such a huge part mm -hmm. of the street fair. Tell us about some of your sponsors. Yes. Thank you. So, um, well, again, we've mentioned Peninsula Shopping Center, Promenade on the Peninsula, both the city of Rolling Hills Estates and the city of Rancho Palos Verdes for, you know, partnering with us in terms of spreading the word and, and all of that, um, like being on our PVTV, right? Thank you Here so we much. Are. Of course. Um, we also have School of Rock, which is a new local business. We have Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center, um, who is a sponsor again this year. And by the way, they will be bringing, at some point over the weekend, I don't know exactly when, they will be bringing their therapy dogs. Oh, wow. I know. I we can't wait. That. I can't wait. Um, we also have California Water Service. Sierra Nevada is back again as our official beer. Um, so those are just some of the sponsors. Water Replenishment District, um, Edco. So the list goes on. Yeah, we're very, very grateful to all of these businesses for helping us to put on this event because 
as you know, it's, it's a large event with a lot of moving parts. It, it yeah. there really is. Now, speaking of moving parts, where mm -hmm. do people park? Because mm -hmm. that's a huge part of right. this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we are encouraging um, free parking on the street. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, we would ask that you um, try not to park, you know, in Peninsula Shopping Center because, you know, uh, they're, they're all, you know, there's the, still to leave space open. for yeah. pavilions and things like that. So we're asking people not to park there and for, okay. you know, by, not to park by Target. But anywhere else that you would like to park, you're welcome to park. So they can park in the, the actual mall parking structure, yes? Um, they could do that on the, yeah, on the, some of the upper levels. Okay. Um, yeah, so, um, but we're asking people again to kind of, you know, try to use the spots the on the street and things like that. So yeah, and we have some parking, although it'll be harder to access underneath um, where the Bay Club used to be. We have some parking down there. Okay. So, yeah. And then the hours of the street fair. Okay, so Friday for tea Not night. Not for Eileen though, because Eileen will be there yeah. for many, many, <laughs> many more hours. Yeah, that was like 24-7, <laughs> yes, right? Oh my exactly. gosh, that's funny. Um, but true. Um, but the, um, along with a lot of other volunteers and, and chamber staff. Yes. Um, so yes, I'm not alone, um, but at all, it's a team. Uh, the street fair itself will be 10 to 10 on Saturday and 10 to nine on Sunday. Okay. Now the vendors usually stop around six in the evening, Okay. Um, but the music and the food and the carnival and the beer and the wine will go till 10 on Saturday night and nine on Sunday night. You know, you just brought mm -hmm. up a really good point. I always like to ask you because mm -hmm. it takes a village to make this happen. Mm -hmm. How long do you work on the street fair to make this happen? So in terms of intensely working on it, uh, four and a half to five months. Okay. So we really start planning in January well um, and the committee meets twice a month and then we have subcommittees that work on different parts. You know, we have a committee working just on getting volunteers and others working on uh, the beer and the wine coordination and other on logistics and things like that. And the music. So, and, and the music and, so and all of that. So, yes. and then we get together every two weeks to talk about it and then a lot of, you know, smaller meetings in between. So, and we have this year, I'm so excited, a new area called the Community Resource Row, Ooh. which I'm so excited about. It's um, being sponsored by California Water. Okay. And um, we have invited, we have LA County Fire, we have LA County Sheriff, we have Palos Verdes Estates Police, we have LA County Department of Public Health, um, some of our water agencies, our cities, um, Rancho Palos Verdes, Rolling Hills Estates, and Palos Verdes Estates will all be there. So, um, so we're expecting maybe some fire trucks and other interesting oh, things. And so it will be one dedicated area for residents and our businesses to get information. Um, that will help you, you know, whatever it might be, whether it's fire prevention, disaster preparedness, whatever it might be, or maybe you just want to climb on the fire truck, you know, so yeah. Or even just ask questions. I yeah. think that's so yeah. you know, great, especially for kids or adults mm -hmm. and they have, you know, things they would like to ask, but right. they don't see a fireman or a policeman. So right. that's a great exactly. opportunity. Exactly. And learning about, you know, recycling and composting mm -hmm. and all those kinds of things. And um, also in that area, we're once again, we're very, very excited to, for the chamber to be sponsoring the Red Cross Bloodmobile. Okay. I was going to ask. Yeah. That. So mm -hmm. that will be there on Saturday from 10 to 4. Okay. And there is a link on our website um, to make an appointment in advance. You don't need to make an appointment in advance. You can just show up, but it's helpful to the Red Cross if you can do that but again they'll they're happy to take walk-ins and that will be from 10 to 4 on Saturday right in that community resource row area all right and I know in years past we've talked about social media mm -hmm. how will that play a part okay well always you know we're definitely trying to get the word out yes. to the entire South Bay about Absolutely. this event mm -hmm. and so um, just do hash well our hashtag is hashtag PV Street Fair um, the chamber is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and um, we're asking all our vendors and our bands and anybody in the community, post it on next door, invite your friends, create a Facebook event. I mean, it's such a fun way to start off the summer, and it there is. is something for everyone. We have the pony rides and the petting zoo back this year. So excited. So we, excited for that. We just reconfirmed the pony rides this morning. I said, we have to have an answer. Absolutely. I need to know so yes. I can tell Maria. Um, so breaking news, petting zoo and pony rides. And it's so funny because, you know, I always said, you know, the, the, the preschool kids, they love that. 
Apparently, I've learned that the teenagers love the petting zoo. Oh. Okay, I had no idea. And that is yeah. always so busy, that area, because we go in there and we film, and yeah. it is just, it's always packed full of people. They I know. love being inside there with the animals. Yeah, it's so fun, but I didn't realize that it was a big draw it's for very the popular, teenagers. Yeah. So, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> That's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know the pony rides especially. I mean, people always yeah. want pictures with their kids mm -hmm. and the ponies, and. And maybe it's the first opportunity for some kids to be on a pony. Yeah, exactly. So it's exciting. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, again, it's just, it's also about like families and memories. I mean, I can remember taking my kids who are clearly now in their 20s and early 30s to the street fair when they were really little and, you know, looking at the youth groups, watching the youth groups perform yes. and walking around the vendors and going on the carnival rides. I mean, we have so many fun family stories and yes. memories from the street fair. So that's why the chamber and myself personally love this event yes. because it's all about community and it's all about families. You know, it really is. And even at Whale of a Day, which we had last yes. month, mm -hmm. we talked about the fact that it, the community is there they look forward to these events mm -hmm. so much. So yeah. it's mm -hmm. it goes from Whale of a Day, we have the street fair, we go to 4th of July, mm -hmm. and it's really so important that we keep that going. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And the event, as you know, it's free, it's open to the public, there's no charge to get in, there's no charge to park just you know it's whatever you decide you want to eat and drink and buy but other than that it's just come the music is all free the performances um, and certainly you know sitting with friends and talking and running into people you haven't maybe seen in a while that is all completely free and we love that and you know yeah. so many people really come from all over to come to the yeah. street for every mm -hmm. year you'll meet people you'll talk to people and say mm -hmm. oh yeah I live down in Redondo or mm -hmm. Orange County, they can't wait to come up. Here. I know, I know. Well, we're very fortunate. Our fair has a good reputation yes. um, throughout the South Bay after 34 years, of course, of course. but just in terms of being family friendly, mm -hmm. um, low key, well organized, and we're very, very proud of that reputation and we work hard to keep it that way. So it's a nice event, whether you're bringing your three year old or your 95 year old grandmother. Yes, yeah, either something way. for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Anything else that we left out that we should go over? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I, yeah. I neglected to mention on Tell Saturday us. afternoon, also, we're, we will have the Young Entrepreneurs Trade Show. Great. And that will be from 1 to 4 on Saturday afternoon. So these are our 40-some local, middle, um, and high school students who are completing right now their Young Entrepreneurs Program with the Chamber of Commerce. And so they will have tables on Saturday afternoon where they will be launching their business, selling product, signing you up for their website, whatever it might be. So um, we're really excited to bring that to the community. Tell us a little bit more about that, yeah. about the Young Entrepreneurs. So well, as thank you. So as you may know, this is our um, eighth year for the Chamber in running this program. Mm -hmm. We've had over 200 middle and high school students graduate from it um, and the idea behind it is that it's experiential learning so we want to give these students an opportunity to learn about business so we bring in guest speakers who are business people um, from all different aspects of business and we teach them everything from um, creating an idea for a business to vetting it to competitive analysis developing a marketing plan um, putting together projected financial statements. How are you gonna produce your product? How are you gonna distribute your product? But while they are learning this, they are actually doing it with launching a business or a nonprofit. Right. Um, so, and the students actually have a pitch competition like Shark Tank, they'll be doing that. Um, actually in late May okay. at Trump National Golf Club. So we're so grateful to Trump for sponsoring that event. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll be pitching for startup funding. We get to send students to a regional and national competition. We've had um, four kids placed in the top six in the nation, which I think speaks to the quality of the program. Oh, the we run, of it is it's huge. It's unbelievable. And I mean, it's what's so amazing about the program is I get so many, as well as the volunteers who help me with the program, we get so many letters and notes back from these students as they go on to college, as they graduate from college, just how this program has changed their life. Um, so valuable. Regardless of what career they choose to go into, they've learned so much about business and so much self-confidence yes. and the, you know how to get up there and pitch your idea it's different than any any of the wonderful things they're getting in school it's totally different and yes. so they can take that with them into college and beyond so this year because we like challenges at the chamber of we course. doubled the size of the program so instead Fantastic. of our i know instead of our usual 20 students we've got 42. 
Wow. I know. And, so, and yeah. I love that area mm -hmm. because you see the most unique and creative concepts mm -hmm. that these young people yes, have come yeah. up with. I mean, it is, it's unbelievable. Oh yeah, yeah, no, a lot of fun. Absolutely, so I think that will be, that's always super fun and these kids just love getting out there. And we've had yes. kids, you know, sell, sell $500 worth of stuff in three hours. It's unbelievable. like, and then, you know, and trust me, we also teach them that they have to pay their taxes. So we do teach them how they wow. have to file their taxes you know, and, and uh, get their business licenses and all of that. These are real businesses, so yes. they need to follow the rules. And yeah. how long does that program go? So it takes about, th it's about three and a half months. We okay. start in February and run through early June. Very good, yeah. Very good, okay, anything else that we have left out? Oh my gosh, just, we really encourage everyone to come. The information's on our website, right. pvstreetfair.com, pal palaceverdystreetfair.com. Okay. And um, our, it's hashtag pvstreetfair, but That's right. just go on the Chamber website and you'll find us. All um, right. Call us, any questions that you have, you can get those wristbands for the you know unlimited rides in advance and save 10 bucks if you buy it on our website okay. prior to Friday, All right. Friday, when, this, when the fair begins. Um, and just tell your friends and neighbors and come on out because yes. it's just going to be so much fun. And my question for you, Maria, is what are yes. we going to have for dessert? Well, I'm going to have to look because there is mm -hmm. always a surprise of yeah, something that's true. interesting. The, the deep fried Oreo I'd never had before until yeah. last year. That we was did have that. That was really good. That was so fantastic. Yeah. I would have never thought it would be as good as it was, it was but it was completely it was really good. delicious. I know. So we'll see. We'll surprise the audience. Okay, that's that sounds great. We'll I'm surprise in. them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, just to remind you, that will be Teen Night on June the 10th. The street fair is the 11th and 12th. We will be there, so please come out. Eileen, thank you so much for being here today and giving us all of this information. And thank you all for watching. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time at the Street Fair and around the peninsula.